Get fit in three weeks. Physical fitness is an essential aspect of overall health and well-being. Regular exercise can help prevent chronic diseases, boost immunity, and improve mental health. However, with our busy schedules and demanding lifestyles, it can be challenging to find the time to stay fit. Setting goals is an important part of any fitness plan. Goals help to provide direction, motivation, and a sense of accomplishment. However, it's important to set achievable goals to avoid frustration and disappointment. One effective way to set achievable goals is by using the SMART framework. SMART goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. To ensure that you are getting the right nutrients to support your fitness plan, it's important to follow a healthy meal plan. Here is a sample meal plan for the three weeks. Week 1. Breakfast. Scrambled eggs with spinach, whole wheat toast, and a side of berries. Snack. Greek yogurt with sliced almonds and honey. Lunch. Grilled chicken salad with mixed greens, tomatoes, cucumbers, and avocado. Snack. Apple slices with almond butter. Dinner. Baked salmon with roasted vegetables and quinoa. Week 2. Breakfast. Overnight oats with chia seeds, almond milk, and fresh berries. Snack. Carrots with hummus. Lunch. Turkey wrap with whole wheat tortilla, mixed greens, tomatoes, and mustard. Snack. Banana with peanut butter. Dinner. Grilled steak with roasted sweet potato and broccoli. Week 3. Breakfast. Smoothie bowl with mixed berries, spinach, almond milk, and granola. Snack. Cottage cheese with sliced peaches. Lunch. Quinoa bowl with black beans, corn, tomatoes, avocado, and lime dressing. Snack. Trail mix with nuts and dried fruit. Dinner. Grilled chicken with zucchini noodles and tomato sauce. Cardiovascular exercise, also known as cardio or aerobic exercise, is any activity that increases the heart rate and breathing rate for an extended period. Cardio is an essential component of any fitness plan because it strengthens the heart, lungs, and circulatory system while burning calories and improving overall endurance. Week 1. Day 1 30 minutes of running intervals, run for 1 minute, walk for 1 minute, day 3 45 minutes of cycling on a stationary bike, day 5 30 minutes of hit, 20 seconds of jumping jacks, 10 seconds of rest, repeat, week 2, day 1 45 minutes of swimming, Day 3 30 minutes of running at a steady pace. Day 5 30 minutes of dancing. Try a Zumba or hip hop class. Week 3. Day 1 30 minutes of hit. 30 seconds of sprinting. 30 seconds of rest. Repeat. Day 3 45 minutes of cycling on a stationary bike. Day 5 minutes of running intervals. Run for one. For one. Remember to warm up before each workout and cool down and stretch afterward to prevent injury and improve recovery. You can modify the workouts to fit your fitness level and preferences. Strength training, also known as resistance training, is any exercise that uses resistance to build and tone muscles. Strength training is an essential component of any fitness plan because it helps to increase muscle mass, improve bone density, and boost metabolism. Remember to start with lighter weights and increase gradually to avoid injury. You can modify the workouts to fit your fitness level and preferences. It is also important to give your muscles time to rest and recover between strength training sessions. Flexibility and mobility are crucial components of fitness that are often overlooked. Having good flexibility and mobility can help prevent injury, improve posture, and enhance athletic performance. Week 1. Day 1. Static stretching. Hamstrings, quadriceps, chest, back. Day 3. Dynamic stretching. Walking lunges, arm circles, leg swings. Day 5. Yoga. Sun salutations, warrior poses, downward dog. Week 2. Day 1. Static stretching. Hamstrings, quadriceps, chest, back. Day 3. Foam rolling. Hamstrings, IT band, back, shoulders. Day 5, Yoga, Tree Pose, Bridge Pose, Seated Forward Bend. Week 3, Day 1, Foam Rolling, Hamstrings, IT Band, Back, Shoulders. Day 3,
dynamic stretching, walking lunges, arm circles, leg swings, day day, static stretch and vest, water sets, chest, death. Remember to start with gentle stretches and movements, and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your exercises over time. It is also important to listen to your body and not push yourself beyond your limits. Incorporating flexibility and mobility exercises into your fitness routine can help to improve overall health and well-being. Rest and recovery are essential components of any fitness plan. Proper rest and recovery allow your body to repair and rebuild muscles, prevent injury, and improve overall performance. Here are some tips for getting enough rest and recovery time. Schedule rest days. Plan regular rest days into your fitness routine to allow your body time to recover. Get enough sleep. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep each night to ensure your body has enough time to repair and recover. Stay hydrated. Drinking enough water is essential for muscle recovery and overall health. Listen to your body. Pay attention to how your body feels and adjust your workout intensity and schedule accordingly. Week 1. Day 1. Cardiovascular exercise. Day 2. Strength training. Day 3. Rest. Day 4. Cardiovascular exercise. Day 5. Strength training. Day 6. Rest. Day 7. Rest. Week 2. Day 1. Cardiovascular exercise. Day 2. Strength training. Day 3. Rest. Day 4. Flexibility and mobility exercises. Day 5. Cardiovascular exercise. Day 6. Rest. Day 7. Rest. Week 3. Day 1. Strength training. Day 2. Rest. Day 3. Cardiovascular exercise. Day 4. Flexibility and mobility exercises. Day 5. Strength training. Day 6. Rest. Day 7, rest. Remember, rest and recovery are just as important as exercise when it comes to achieving your fitness goals. Incorporate rest days and recovery activities into your fitness plan to allow your body to recover, recharge, and perform at its best. Tracking your progress is essential for staying motivated and achieving your fitness goals. Seeing your progress can help you stay motivated and stay on track. Here are some reasons why tracking progress is important. Motivation. Tracking your progress can provide motivation and help you see the progress you've made towards your goals. Goal setting. Tracking progress can help you set realistic goals and monitor your progress towards those goals. Accountability. Tracking progress can help you stay accountable to your fitness goals. Identification of plateaus. Tracking progress can help you identify if you have hit a plateau and make adjustments to your routine accordingly. Here are some tips for staying motivated throughout the three weeks. Set achievable goals. Set achievable goals for the three weeks and track your progress towards those goals. Celebrate small successes. Celebrate your small successes along the way to stay motivated. Find a workout buddy. Working out with a friend or family member can help keep you motivated and accountable. Mix up your routine. Keep your workouts interesting by trying new exercises or workout formats. Reward yourself. Reward yourself for reaching your goals, such as buying new workout clothes or treating yourself to a healthy meal. Over the course of the three weeks, you can expect to see improvements in your physical fitness, such as increased strength, endurance, and flexibility. Additionally, you may also experience improvements in your mental health, such as reduced stress and improved mood. It's important to remember that fitness is not just about achieving a certain body shape or size. Instead, it's about taking care of your body and mind, and making positive changes that improve your overall quality of life. By making fitness a priority and following the three-week fitness plan, you can establish healthy habits that will benefit you for years to come. Remember to set achievable goals, track your progress, and stay motivated along the way. Make sure to cool down and stretch after every workout session. Remember to eat a balanced diet and stay hydrated throughout the program. As with any fitness program, consult a healthcare professional before starting. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.